This is the solution to written homework 37. <clears throat> so, we're given an expression of two variables to minimize, subject to an, an equation in two variables, and we're told to use the method of Lagrange multipliers. Okay? And it says clearly indicate objective constraint in Lagrange functions. So the objective I'll call little f. That's 3x squared plus 4y squared minus xy minus 2. This is the function to minimize. The constraint I'll call g of x. So g of x is, is what you get when you take this constraint and you make one side equal to 0. Uh, so that would be 2x uh, plus y minus 21. That's the constraint function. <coughs> and then the Lagrange function is big F of x, y, and lambda and it is the objective 3x squared plus 4y squared minus xy minus 2 minus a multiple of the constraint so 2x plus y minus 21 21 <clears throat> So the method of Lagrange multipliers says that the minimum, if any, is going to be a stationary point of the Lagrange function. So let's find the stationary points of big F. So the x partial <coughs> of big F that will be so 6x and then 0 and then minus y and then 0 and then this lambda hangs out the x partial of this is 2 so minus 2 lambda so minus 2 uh, lambda the y partial of the Lagrange function. So that would be 0 plus 8y uh, minus x and then minus so that lambda just hangs out. The y partial of this is 1 so minus lambda times 1. Then the lambda partial of this is just that term in round parentheses, negative 2x plus y, y. Uh, minus 21. So we want all three of these to be 0 at the same time. So we'll solve. <clears throat> so the first one, 6x uh, minus y minus 2 lambda is 0. 8y minus x minus lambda is 0. And then this thing is 0. So since it's negated, I'll just say 2x plus y minus 21 is 0. So we want to solve this equation. So remember, the strategy 
when using the method of Lagrange multipliers is to solve for lambda first, eliminate lambda first. So this equation is the easiest one to eliminate lambda with, to solve for lambda with. So taking that equation, uh, you can see that that's telling us that 8y minus x is lambda, moving that lambda to the other side. So now I'll take this and plug it into the first equation. <clears throat> and that gives us that 6x minus y minus 2. And then now I'll plug in this lambda, 8y minus x is 0. Notice that we, in this equation, we've now eliminated lambda. So that would be 6x minus y minus 16y, uh, and then plus 2x is equal to 0. <clears throat> so then that would say 8x minus 17y is 0. So uh, 8x is 17y. So x is 17 over 8y. It's kind of a weird number. <clears throat> Let's check that. So 8y minus x. 8y minus x minus lambda. <clears throat> Okay, and then here, the x partial, 6x minus y minus 2 lambda. Okay, okay, so the numbers are just, just going to be weird. So we'll take this now <clears throat> and plug it into the last equation. to obtain that 2 multiplied by 17 over 8 y <clears throat> plus y minus 21 is 0. So that would be uh, 17 over 4 y plus y is 21. So 17 over 4 plus 4 over 4 is 21 over 4y is 21. OK, so the numbers end up working out nicely after all. So y is 4. <clears throat> now we can take this, y is 4, and we can plug it back into here to get a value for for x. So x is therefore uh, 17 over 8 multiplied by 4 is 17 over 2. Okay, so the numbers aren't all that nice. So, <clears throat> because in class uh, we said that uh, it's in, in, in a more rigorous context, like a scientific context, it's important to verify that minimums exist or and maximums exist when you're looking for them. But in our class, we're going to assume that they exist. Since this is the, st the only stationary point, is 17 over 2, comma 4. That means that that's the minimum we're looking for. <clears throat> So the only stationary point, this is the minimum. And so to find the minimum value, we need to plug this value into the original function. <clears throat> so 
that will be 3 t times uh, 17 over 2 squared plus 4 times 4 squared minus 17 over 2 times 4 minus 2. So plugging that in, hopefully I plugged it in correctly, with minimum value F evaluated at 17 over 2 comma 4 is 244 0.75. And that's the answer to the exercise.